And you know, on Thursdays, we have great yeah. questions from students. Right. Um, I actually ask the same question. You did, just every, last week, right? Yeah, pretty much like every week. Right. And so I earned my um, advanced course on probability precip of precipitation from Grant Gilmore. And that's, that was, that's the question this week, is talking about the chance of rain and how we come up with it. And you passed the class passed this morning. It, so you, and you have your you? certificate. Here's the question uh, dealing with this today. Hi. My name is Aiden Lambert, and I'm in fifth grade at Spessard Holland Elementary, and I was wondering, how do you calculate the percentage of rainfall? Courtney, would you like to take this? I'm gonna, no, you're better at it. Okay. You're better at All it. Right. I mean, you, you passed the course. You're my professor. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So the chance of rain, the way meteorologists define this, it's not so much the chance of rain, and this might help explain it in a little more detail, it's the pop, or the probability of precipitation, which means the likelihood that precipitation is going to occur at any given point in the forecast area. So that's important. It's not just one specific area, but it's any given point in this forecast area. And the way we come up with this, and it is a calculation, it's not a, an exact calculation, but just in our minds, we're able to calculate the confidence that it's going to rain in the forecast area. And then in that area, how much of that is going to get rain. So the confidence that it's going to rain and how much of the area is going to get rain. So here's the entire forecast area that we forecast for here at 10 News. Citrus County to Sarasota from Pinellas to Polk County. This entire area we have to consider and we have to come up with the confidence that it's going to rain. Are we sure? Are we really sure? Or are we not really sure that it's going to rain? So for an example, we're 80% confident that it's going to rain. We think 60% of the area is going to see that rain. So that'd be like scattered showers. You multiply that together and it comes up to 48%. We'll round it up to 50% and that's what it means when you get a 50% chance of rain.